What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a deep dive on the Whoopstrap 3.0. So this is a slick new tracker designed to be your one-stop shop for all things fitness and health. Does it deliver on this promise? Well, I've been testing it out for over a month and I am so excited to share my results and answer all of your questions like, is this actually worth the price? Is it designed for everyone? And how does it compare to the Aura Ring? Well, stick around as I answer all these questions and more. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into it, hit that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. So we'll be breaking down this video into a couple of different categories. Number one, form and functionality. Number two, what metrics does it track? Number three, what's its accuracy? And how does it compare to something like the Aura Ring? And finally, we'll finish off with my pros and my cons. Cool, so let's start with form and functionality. So the Whoop Band is a very simple strap you wear on your wrist and it's designed to have a low profile. You won't find any watch faces or fancy buttons on this thing. It's also waterproof and has a pretty good battery life of about five days. Plus, you never have to take it off because it's got a rechargeable battery pack that you literally just slide on and there you go, it's charging. It's also a 24 seven activity monitor and we'll get to more of the metrics in just a minute. And to read the data, you've got to connect the device to their app on your phone. And overall, I'd say the band is really comfortable to wear. Although I did get some weird red marks on my skin, but Maybe I'm just really dumb and was wearing it too tightly. Now we move on to metrics. So much like a lot of fitness trackers on the market right now, the Whoop is going to track your heart rate and heart rate variability. And these are the key indications that you'll use for fitness and stress levels. It also looks at your sleep cycles, including your light, REM, deep, and awake times, and gives you a total sleep score based on a lot of factors, including when you went to sleep. And then there is respiratory rate or your breaths per minute. Now, in general, your respiratory rate doesn't really change a whole heck of a lot. It's a pretty stable metric. But if you start to see some drastic changes in that number, well, it could be a clue that something is up with your health. So what makes the Whoop so cutting edge? Well, it actually does have a lot of unique functions and features that I haven't seen in any other trackers. And this includes the Strain Coach. So this is really where we get into the nitty gritty of what makes this such a unique tracker. So at the end of each day, you get a total strain number, which is on a scale out of 21. So this is basically your total cardio output in any other workouts you did during that day. Now this strain number obviously varies from day to day with a huge emphasis on your recovery. For instance, if you did three intense days of workouts without any rest, you're gonna start to see your recovery number go down, which will impact your whole daily output. And there is a good reason for this. The WHOOP is all about balancing your strain with your recovery. I'll cover more on recovery in just a sec, but the bottom line is that the WHOOP is designed so that you don't overdo it and you find time to recharge. Now, when I used to work at a fitness studio, I was actually taking very intense cardio classes multiple times a day, multiple times a week, and I was probably doing more harm than good to my body. So if I had had something like this device, probably would have really helped me out a lot back then. Now, another really cool feature about the Whoop is while exercising, the Whoop will actually show you how much strain you're putting on your body through metrics like your heart rate zone and your total calories burned. And this will let you know if you really need to push yourself harder or maybe even take it back a notch. Plus you can adjust the strain coach to meet your own personal fitness goals. So for instance, if you are training for say a marathon, well then you can actually adjust the strain coach to have higher strain outputs than if you're just say working from home. Each new day, you'll get a personalized recommendation on how hard you should be pushing yourself. Now, this is also another feature of the Aura, so nothing really new there. Now we move on to the sleep coach feature. So very much like the Aura Ring, every day you'll see a breakdown of your sleep stats in terms of awake time, REM, light, and deep sleep. But what's really nice about the sleep coach is that you'll actually get nightly recommendations for when you should go to bed based on how recovered you wanna feel the next day. For instance, you can choose from, I wanna peak, perform, or 
just get by and it'll pump out a number of hours you need of sleep that night. Now, why you would buy this device and just want to get by, that's beyond me. Moving on. Now, their sleep recommendation is not only determined by your standard sleep metrics, but also how well you slept for that whole week and how much strain you put on your body that day. Not to mention sleep is a huge factor when it comes to your recovery score. Now we move on to the Whoop journal feature. Now this is really their attempt to be a catch-all for any lifestyle changes that you make that might have an impact on your health over time. In the journal on their app, you can choose from a wide variety of different behaviors that you want to log, including things like blue blocking glasses, CBD, late night meals, and even cryotherapy. As you can see, they're really targeting that biohacking community. And then at the end of the month, you'll get a summary of how these behavior changes might have impacted your sleep. And finally, we come to the WHOOPS weekly and monthly assessments feature. So as part of their emphasis on being this coaching tool, the WHOOP will give you a weekly assessment on three major categories, your training state, your sleep state, and your overall heart rate variability. So what's really great about this feature is that you actually get a really clear picture of your total health that week. And they even provide insights into certain metrics like your HRV data and how that compares to other people in your same gender and age bracket. But Here's the catch. You actually have to be wearing the device for at least a month before you can unlock this feature. I know, pissed. The Aura Ring will also give you a weekly assessment report, but in theirs, you can actually isolate certain metrics like your deep sleep and body temperature. And I kind of find that really helpful to see how those specific things are changing over time. So now we move on to accuracy. So here's a direct quote from their website. Whoop is currently the only wearable with a validated respiratory rate from a third party verifying its accuracy. So right now they claim to be the top of their game in terms of tracking your respiratory rate, if that's something of interest to you. Now in terms of sleep, well, here's where we get into some of the biggest differences between the Whoop band and my Aura Ring. Well, on the plus side, both trackers were nearly identical in my total sleep and even my REM sleep. But I consistently saw big differences of like 30 minutes to even an hour in my overall deep sleep. So which one is correct? And unfortunately, my friends, it's a little hard to say. I'm wearing both devices on the same arm and both are tracking my HRV each night. But one thing I can tell you is that the Aura Ring is using red PPG sensors. And in very simple terms, this is a specific sensor used for heart rate monitoring. Now, the Whoop band, on the other hand, is using a green PPG. Now, based on my own research, there are a lot of studies showing that the red PPG sensors are more accurate than the green. But I won't fully know until I do a full sleep panel, which is coming soon. And for fitness tracking, I also saw some pretty big discrepancies in my total calories burned and my maximum heart rate. And I'm not alone here. I caught up with my fellow YouTuber and whoop wearer, whoop whooper? And here's what he had to say about the whole thing. I've seen very odd numbers, especially I just did a set, like I did a Peloton this morning. I used the Polar H1 heart rate monitor on my bicep. I had my Apple watch and then I had my whoop going. And for some reason, it was like 10 beats off than the Polar OH1 and my Apple Watch. So, and I don't know if that's just there's a delay and what it's getting, but it just seemed like it wasn't 100% accurate. Also, after you watch this video, make sure to give Shervin some love. I will link it for you guys in the description below. So before we get to my final thoughts on if this is actually worth your money, here are my main pros and cons. So let's start with the pros. Well, for one, the Whoop is very quickly becoming an empire and it is constantly innovating. Much like the Tesla, they are always rolling out new features left and right. So this is a great device if you just wanna stay on top of all of these industry trends. There's also a very growing community aspect where you can share real-time stats with your fellow whoopers. And this is definitely one of those features that I enjoyed and was one of the things I loved about the Fitbit because it definitely holds you accountable when you join a team. And finally, I definitely enjoyed the nightly reminders on when to go to bed. And I was actually really impressed that the Whoop was able to pick up on my naps, which I've never been able to get to work with my Aura Ring. All right, now to the downsides of this device. To start, 
I had a lot of connectivity issues with it. And it was actually really surprised how long it took for this device to sync my data. And honestly, I found that to be extremely frustrating every day. I also found that it really wasn't easy to record or even monitor your workouts in real time, which is one of the big features of this device. For instance, while running, I couldn't see how hard I was pushing myself or what heart rate zone I was in because the app was on my phone and my phone was on my arm. So it makes it a little bit difficult in that sense. Plus the Whoop is not going to auto record some of your workouts like strength training or even yoga. You actually have to manually input that in after the fact. Another thing I've heard a lot of complaints about is that there is no airplane mode. So you're basically blasting yourself with Bluetooth EMFs all day and all night. And while the Whoop has a lot going for it, you do have to wear the device for at least a month before unlocking all its features. And for me, that just felt like they're trying to lock you into the system, which brings me to their pricing system. So get this, you have to pay a membership fee to keep tracking your data. And so if you think about it over time, this device gets very expensive. And for this reason, I canceled my own membership. So here are my final thoughts on the device. This is a really great fitness and performance monitor. And I would say, yes, it does deliver on being this kind of one-stop shop for all your health and fitness data. And I think for someone struggling to stay active, this could potentially be a great device to keep you motivated through things like guidance and even the community aspect. And even for athletes who might have a tendency to overtrain, I think the Whoop does a really good job at helping balance that recovery aspect. But for me, I just didn't use those Whoop features all that much. I've got a pretty good fitness and sleep routine dialed in, and so the Whoop band didn't do anything to change those stats. I also found that I actually prefer to use my Apple Watch to track my fitness simply because it's just so much easier to press a button and go. And the Aura Ring syncs a hell of a lot faster in the morning, and so I prefer checking that first thing rather than waiting for the Whoop to make up its mind and show me how I slept that night. And as I alluded to before, I am not a fan of their membership system. So until they change that, well, I am not going to be joining the fellow whoopers of the world. But that's my honest take. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna check it out, I will link to their website below. Go take a look. And I think they do have a 30 day return policy. So you could give it a try and see how it might work for you and your lifestyle. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. And if you did, make sure to use that one big thumb, <laughs> one big thumb and give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.